Hey everybody, welcome to Bones and Brews. You're in for a special treat today. I'm gonna show you how I make some top-notch quesadillas. We're gonna make them on the Blackstone outside. For these quesadillas, I'm just gonna make a traditional cheese quesadilla, but I'm gonna show you what I do with the actual quesadillas themselves before I throw them in to make some really special. You can throw in any type of meat, however you wanna make that quesadilla. I'm just gonna show you that cheese version and get started. So we're gonna grab, we got some large flour tortillas that I got from my local store. You can get any fresh tortillas, always better if you can get your hands on them. Don't have those for myself here today. So I'm gonna start with these two tortillas. Now you can use, and I always use olive oil, sometimes I brush it on, but there's actually a spray olive oil. So I'm gonna spray just one side of each of these tortilla shells. And then I've got some dark chili powder. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on each of those shells that I've just sprayed. So the olive oil is gonna help that stick on there for me. And I've got some ground cumin as well. And I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on. This is gonna give that outer edges of those, of that quesadilla just a great taste. All right, so I've got that pre-ready. We're gonna take this now, go turn around to the Blackstone, lay them on there, and we're gonna make the rest of our quesadilla while this is nice and hot. All right, so I've got this half of my Blackstone nice and warm. I've got it set at medium heat, and uh, we're gonna make that old cheese quesadilla, so let's get started. So I'm gonna take one of my tortilla shells, that side that I put that seasoning on with that oil, olive oil, flat down, and I'm gonna put a little mix of cheese. I'm gonna start with some shredded Chihuahua cheese, great Mexican melting cheese. Put some of that on that quesadilla. Also some fresh shredded cheddar cheese as well. So a mixture of two cheeses here. Make sure I get that all around the outside as well. We do quesadillas a lot at home. My daughter likes them with bacon, believe it or not. Actually, she'll eat anything with bacon. Who are we kidding? All right. So those cheeses are all mixed together. I'm going to take that other shell. Lay it across the top there. Take my lid, and I'm gonna let that sit for a minute or two, and then we're gonna flip it over. All right, we can tell that that cheese is starting to melt in there, so we're gonna flip this over, and let it cook on that other side. I'm gonna cover it up again, probably another 90 seconds or so. It's gonna be ready to eat. Doesn't take very long, which is just that cheese in there. So we're gonna take it off the blackstone. We're gonna move it over to that cutting board and I'm gonna show what we do next. All right, quesadilla's off. Got it on the cutting board. I am going to use a pizza slicer and we are going to get this cut so we can serve it up. Great as an appetizer or you can make individual quesadillas. So everybody make them to order for the family. I'm gonna throw this on my plate. You can see that that seasoning we put on there crusted on there as we hit it on that blackstone as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one piece of lime here and I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lime across the top of those. I am going to take some sour cream because we're gonna share this. I'm gonna put some sour cream right in the center and I'm gonna top that off. A little fresh cilantro. Throw some more limes on the plate in case others want to squeeze more lime on theirs. And that, my friends, is my cheese quesadilla. Like I said earlier, you can put anything inside that quesadilla. Bacon, ground beef, ground chicken, shredded chicken. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you made a whole chicken on the smoker, some leftover brisket, pulled pork, black beans, whatever you want throw it in there, make it to order, make it the way you like it, but hopefully enjoy that seasoning on both sides of that shell and how I topped it off there. All right, thanks for watching Bones Brews. We'll see you guys again next time. Remember to subscribe to, subscribe to the channel.